Here's a recap of the entire rotover system here. So we have a large cap. The best one I've found so far, 25 microfarad. The size 5 I don't use right now. Start cap, uh, 147 to uh, 174 microfarad. <coughs> Switch. <coughs> Set it up in Y connection, star, if you want to call it that. Uh, with the Bariac. And uh, the switches are critical. The switch down, down is start up. This no variac is on, and then up the variac is on. So um, we're not connected to the big old DC motor that puts out 120 volts DC, which I'm not quite sure to what to do with yet. And here we go. We take uh, 700 watts. Almost 800 watts, and uh, when I hit the switch, this is no longer connected. We're running only off this cap. The Variac is not active yet. And we are using 80 watts, volts, 0.78 amps, 81 watts, volt amperes, frequency, and a terrible power, power, power factor. Go back to watts. 80, it'll drop down once it warms up to about 70, high 70s. But once we connect the Variac, line voltage, over voltage up to 140, and negative to zero. <coughs> we go ahead and flip it on. Now the Variac's enabled and the direct line is disconnected. So we have, of course, the Variac uses some wattage. <coughs> So, we're going to uh, go ahead and crank this down. We're going, the optimal range is 55 to 45. So we're going to start off about, oh, uh, let's put it on 53. So our voltage, our wattage drops down to uh, just about 60. It'll keep going, it'll drop down about. 58, 57 in a minute. Volts, 0.51 amps, 60 watts, 64 volt amperes, frequency, and 0.9594 power factor. Let's keep it on power factor for a minute. We're going to go ahead and bring it down a little bit more. We're going to go down to about, oh, 52. Two is a pretty sweet spot for this one. So we go up. Now we can fluctuate. We're right around a pretty good power factor, 0.96. We'll go backwards. Uh, frequency. Watts. And volt amperes. 0.51 amps. That'll get down to. 0.49 eventually, and back to watts. See, we're only at 59 watts now. Now I can go down uh, a little bit more. Let's go uh, to 49. And there we are, 49. And we instantly drop below 60 watts. Both 0.49 amps now. See, that's where it is. Sweet spot. 57 watts. 60 volt amperes and a fairly good power factor. So now it's very critical on the dial that uh, back and forth just a hair is going to fluctuate the power factor and the wattage. <coughs> and we can use consistently less than 60 watts now. So we'll just call it 60 watts. And uh, really quick, let's see if I can uh, go ahead and get some voltage measurements here without blowing something up. Um, okay, we're on the cap. We're at 67, 68. <coughs> and we're going from the switch here to the neutral. And this is going to be tricky. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, I'll just tell you, it is... 68.99, 69. So we have 69, and versus that, and uh, 
from on just a cap, yeah, 68. And then from hot to the other side of the cap is 69.5 average. So that's what we have. And we'll do a quick shutdown. <coughs> now we want to go 58 watts. We're going to go ahead and turn the dial down back to line voltage. And you notice the watts force go up. And there we are, back to startup watts, terrible power factor, and everything else. And we're going to go ahead and switch off the Variac. <coughs> and then the Variac, see, switch it off. We're down to about mid 70s watts. And This is a uh, 6.1 horsepower, uh, 4.6 kilowatt. And it's 460 volt, 7.6 amp um, motor. Normally run at 4.6 kilowatt, 6 horsepower.